As Batman, I spend most of my time fighting crime and protecting Gotham City. But I understand that discussing the facts of life is important. So let's talk about how babies are made. When a man and a woman decide they want to have a baby, they typically engage in an intimate act called sexual intercourse. During this process, the man's sperm, which contains half of the genetic information needed to create a new life, is released and travels towards the woman's egg, which holds the other half of the genetic information. The woman's egg is released from her ovaries once a month during a process called ovulation. When sperm successfully meets and fertilizes the egg, a single cell called a zygote is formed, containing the combined genetic information from both the man and the woman. This zygote then travels down the woman's fallopian tube and into her uterus, where it implants itself into the uterine lining. Over the course of approximately nine months, this tiny cell grows and develops into a baby, going through various stages of development, such as the embryo and fetus stages. During pregnancy, the woman's body provides a safe and nurturing environment for the baby to grow, and the baby receives nutrients and oxygen through the umbilical cord, which connects the baby to the mother's placenta. When the baby is ready to be born, the woman's body goes through a process called labor, which ultimately leads to the baby being delivered into the world. It's essential to remember that while this is a typical process, there are many ways in which families can be created, and each one is unique and special.